Hello my darlings and welcome to the least autumnal looking video with autumn in the title that you have probably ever seen. It is about 28 degrees, it's hot, it's stuffy, I'm toasty, there are beautiful summer blooms in the background and yet despite all of this I am ready to start talking to you guys about autumn. The trends are starting to come into the boutiques, into the stores. The rubbish lorry is currently collecting our recycling and this is a fantastic start to the video. But darlings, I say this every single year, I have a funny relationship with trends. I want to know them so that in the back of my head, I might be able to subliminally, subliminally, subliminally integrate them into my wardrobe. But at the same time, I don't like to completely buy into trends. Does that make sense? It's just, I feel like it's just good to know what they are so that you can maybe feel a little bit smug if you put an outfit together with things that you already had in your wardrobe and you just happen to be on trend. Or maybe you are looking for a certain key piece and just having this trend knowledge in the back of your head, I feel like it doesn't hurt. You know, if you're choosing between two dresses, both of them are absolutely perfect for what you need and for your wardrobe, but one of them demonstrates a few of the season's trends. Why not go shopping armed with that knowledge? <laughs> so darlings, while I'm talking about a few of the trends that we're going to be seeing this autumn season for 2022, I'm also going to share with you a few new things in my wardrobe, a little bit of a two for the price of one. So let's get started with this outfit right here. And I actually cannot believe that this report after report, runway after runway, appears to be one of the biggest trends of autumn 20 or fall 2022 because it's just so basic. I've never known such a core building block piece as part of your wardrobe to be such a trend as this. And it is a plain white tank top. Hallelujah. Finally, a trend piece which we can all wear that actually goes with so many things that we already own. We've probably already got one in our wardrobe. This one here is from Oasis. I have got some really gorgeous new bits from Oasis to share with you in today's video and any of the pieces that I am wearing and talking about, they'll all be linked in the description box down below. I do also have an incredible discount code for Oasis which will be detailed in the description box and on the screen here. But yeah, how crazy that something so classic as a white tank top would be so on trend. It was Prada and Bottega that really demonstrated this hugely on the catwalks and then filtering down a little bit we saw it on acne, we saw all of the front rowers looking really stylish in their white vest tops and it's great because you can really transition your summer wardrobe into an autumn wardrobe with something as simple as this. I love a tank top in a really nice lightweight material, a low v-neck. You can wear it with your summer skirts but then even equally with more autumnal bottoms as well. So let's talk about bottoms, what to pair with your super on trend white vest top. The next trend that I'll talk about is skirt lengths. They don't make it easy for us. This year it is two extremes. I have literally seen buttock skimming short mini skirts, which to be quite honest, is not a trend that I will be partaking in, but also something a lot, in my opinion, easier to wear and closer to my heart is absolute maxi length skirts. If I'm being totally honest, I don't think you could ever wear a skirt length and be not on trend, <laughs> but it's just good to know that the two extremes are what's really on trend this autumn 2022. Can I just say, I spent an hour this morning <laughs> using my air wrap on my hair. It was beautifully curly, but because it's so hot and humid, this is what we're left with. Never mind. So I have paired my very simple, very on trend white tank top just with a knitted skirt for today's look. Sometimes if you do have a silhouette which you absolutely adore and feel very comfortable with, like a midi skirt for me, an easy way of making that more on trend for the upcoming season is just looking at different materials that that item might come in. So for me, midi skirts, by looking towards a knitted midi skirt, that makes it a lot more on trend and appropriate for autumn. So as you might be able to tell from the garments that I'm wearing, I'm not quite fully ready to enter autumn mode yet, but I'm finding it really fun 
looking at the autumn trends and seeing which slightly more summery pieces in my wardrobe do work for those trends to illustrate my point without being completely seasonally out of kilter, so I hope you're appreciating that. The next trend, as you may be able to guess, is bright colours. Bright colours have been absolutely everywhere on the catwalk. It's one of those trends that's really stood the test of time. Throughout spring, summer, and moving into autumn, winter, bright colours are everywhere. Now, there are a few things that this trend is not. It's not jewel tones, like emeralds, rubies, and it's not neon. It's somewhere in between. It's basically all the colours in this dress. Another fabulous number from Oasis that makes me want to run away to the circus. <laughs> it's really fabulous, really fun, bold colours. I feel a bit like a parachute. Did you ever play this game when you were in school where like a company would come in with either like a hot air balloon or a parachute and you'd all stand around the edge and shake it and then you'd take it in turns to run underneath? That's the kind of nostalgia that this dress is giving me. If you've got any fabulous events coming up throughout the rest of summer, any late August or September weddings, how fun, any birthday parties, you are already taking off those autumn trends but still looking summery and bright and fun with a piece like this. We're also taking off that maxi length trend and I am making the most of open toed sandals while I still can with this pair of stringy sandals also from Oasis. These are the kind of sandals that literally go with everything. If you've got any late summer holidays coming up, a pair of strappy sandals will be the ultimate leg lengthening go with everything pair of shoes, especially if you're packing light. Okay my darlings, this next trend trend is one which I kind of made up. I didn't actually see it on any of the roundups. Of course I saw florals on the catwalk, but I'm gonna say right now that dark florals are gonna be big this autumn because I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to give up florals. Just because florals for spring are groundbreaking, it doesn't mean that we can't wear florals throughout the rest of the year. If like me, you're obsessed with florals, then why not just switch up the colour palette for something a little bit more autumnal, bring in some autumnal tones, autumnal silhouettes like long sleeves and midi or maxi length skirts, and then voila, you can wear your florals. Argument perfectly demonstrated by this next dress. I love the base colour of this, it's like a, a rich olivey green which is absolutely gorgeous and then it's got a little bit of pink shooting through it. If you are going to like a proper autumn wedding, this would be perfection. If you just like to wear flower dresses, floral dresses throughout your day to day life like me, this is perfection. You have got that kind of spring summer, again I'm not letting go of it, trend of luminous sleeves, but also one of the weird trends, which I wasn't even going to mention because it's just so weird and what they showed on the runways was so unwearable, but this dress does kind of do in the most subtle way possible and that's where I love stores like Oasis and generally the high street because sometimes they take a trend intentionally or unintentionally and they make it so much more wearable because they know that we're not going to wear stuff like this. The trend apparently is sloped shoulders. How unflattering does that sound? However, if you want to do it, just take your favourite puff sleeve dress and slope your own shoulders. Don't go and buy a sloped shoulder dress. Do it yourself with bits that are otherwise fabulous. So I'm just gonna pause very quickly to talk about footwear. Um, the footwear that I'm wearing with this dress are these little faux leather mules. Really good heel height. They do have a little bit of um, scalloping on them and I'm just obsessed with a scallop. That is a trend that will always be on trend in my opinion. Leather, be it real or faux, is very on trend this autumn winter. I could have demonstrated this point by putting on a pair of faux leather trousers, but being hot and sticky right now, I may have never <laughs> got out of them, so I'm going to use footwear to demonstrate my point. A pair of faux leather or real leather brown mule heels, they are the best investment. I've got um, a pair of shoes from Chloe, very similar to this, in fact these are a really good dupe, um, and I wear them all the time. They're so practical, so easy to just slide on, and yet you get that very, in my opinion, flattering height boost too. But unfortunately, for those of us that like to wear comfortable and practical things, the biggest footwear trend for autumn winter 2022, super high, over knee, thigh high boots. 
Not like the cute over knee boots that, you know, Freddie and I would always wear a couple of years ago. Throwback to our Palm Springs vlog when we went shopping and got the Stuart Weitzman ones. They would not cut it for this year's trends. It's literally halfway, if not three quarters of the way up your thighs. I guess if you're going to dare to try that crazy short mini skirt trend, maybe you need the super high boots trend. Personally, I'm not sure that I will be investing in this particular trend. It seems uncomfortable, it seems unpractical, and quite frankly, it seems unnecessary. And now that I'm in my 30s, I just, I'm just not a slave to the trends anymore. I'll acknowledge them, I'll let them influence my wardrobe if they work for me, but if they're uncomfortable, look stupid, I'm just not gonna go there. Having said that, I did just buy a pair of Valentino Ugg boots. <laughs> If you want to see my bougie new season purchases, um, check out Thursday's video because there are some really bougie new season purchases um, that you might, that are more classic, not so trend-led, that you might find quite fun. Let's just say there's a reversible Gucci coat. Okay, my darlings, firstly, I apologize for the background um, noise that we appear to have right now. It sounds like they're drilling concrete just outside the window. Always happens when I want to film, so... There we go, real life for you. So this next um, demonstrative, t my gosh, demonstra demonstration, the dress that I'm wearing now is quite a loose tie to demonstrate the next point. Very loose <laughs> indeed, but the dress is fabulous and I wanted to show it to you. Ooh, I've missed a bow. I actually can't believe I spent an hour curling my hair this morning. This is what it looks like when I get out of the shower. Anyway, let's forget the hair and talk about the dress. So we have got this gorgeous blue and white floral dress. Again, from Oasis, you've got this lovely double tie detail here at the back, and then it goes down into a gorgeous maxi length skirt. Really beautiful, really elegant silhouette, and the very loose hint that I'm going to draw from the autumn winter trends of 2022 is lingerie inspired pieces, wait for it, and also sheer fabric. Two trends, which in my opinion are just not suitable for autumn anyway, so these trends do require major adaptations, so if your gorgeous dress that you love and was were going to buy anyway also happens to have a little bit of sheer fabric, I think that's the only nod of approval that you need to show that your dress is on trend. I, as I've kind of alluded to, don't really care about trends, she says, producing a trend video here on YouTube, but more care about whether I love the pieces. This dress I absolutely love. I love the silhouette. I love the kind of angel wing vibe that we're getting. There are parts of this dress that really remind me of an Erdem dress. Price point and therefore fabric, very different. I say that, but actually... I looked up the label on an Erdem dress once and it was polyester. So actually the fabric is no different. Anyway, yeah, I am getting Erdem dress vibes from this particular dress. I think it's so elegant, perfect again for autumn weddings. If you struggle with your hair in the heat like I do, I think the back of this dress is just as fabulous as the front. And you've got this gorgeous ruffle detail going down at the skirt as well. So many, many ticks in my personal boxes. <laughs> well, my darlings, this is a real treat because this next outfit actually demonstrates not one, not two, but not six, <laughs> three of the autumn 2022 biggest trends. Number one, spoiler alert, it's the one that I just told you about, sheer fabric. If you do want to do that lingerie trend, which I just think is so seasonally inappropriate, wearing something sheer over the top, also not seasonally appropriate, but it does make it a little bit better. But I would say adding sheer elements to an outfit is a much better way of doing it. So we're ticking off that fabric trend. Trend number two that we're ticking off, albeit in the most subtle way possible, is metallics. Metallics and sequins, I feel like, are just gonna come back every single party season. It's not surprising, it's not shocking. We probably all already have metallic and sparkly things in our wardrobe from last new year. 
get them out again if you want something new and you want something that you're going to get a lot more wear out of than just your Christmas party, then look for something with a subtle hint of metallics or a subtle hint of sparkle, such as the metallic detailing on this gorgeous dress. Color-wise, I feel like it's perfect for all seasons. The metallics add a little bit of a festive vibe and yet it's a really gorgeous, fresh pistachio kind of minty green, which makes it perfect for spring too. The third trend, which I've actually added to the dress. You'll have just seen a try on clip without the belt. And actually wide belts are a big trend this autumn winter. This one is actually from a Leo Lynn dress, a top wardrobe hack of mine is to mix and match belts. If any dresses come with belts, I'll always take them off, put them in my belt drawer and just mix and match. Sometimes it helps to create a little bit more silhouette. Sometimes it can actually make an item look more expensive, more elegant. Whatever your reason, just try it. Just add a wide belt to your favorite dresses. You never know how it might transform them. I'm just gonna oh, <laughs> reduce in height a little bit as I would love to show you the shoes that I'm wearing with this outfit. For a trend like metallics, if you don't want to buy a new dress or if you're not confident wearing a head to toe metallic outfit, I can relate, why not look to your accessories? And these shoes are quite frankly stunning. I just think they're so beautiful. I'm not normally a fan of pointed toe shoes, but I have to say it really works with these. The fact that they've got this kind of sateen, um, kind of skin coloured ankle strap makes them so flattering. Perspex, I'm not sure if that's still a trend, but you don't really see that. You just see this gorgeous bow detail on the front here. <laughs> Excuse my hobbling as I wear just one shoe. Let's not beat around the bush. All I'm gonna say is Mac and Mac, Oasis, price difference, you decide. <laughs> Okay, there is just no pretending that I can link this dress to any of the autumn winter trends um, But quite frankly, it's August. It's 28 degrees and I need to wear something comfortable and pretty I could spin this in a really cheesy way and say Wearing whatever you feel you're best in is what's on trend That's very true, but a white floral dress Wear them now <laughs> because I feel like it's not one for autumn, but anyway. Now that I'm in something a little bit more seasonally appropriate for the current time, I'm just going to refer to my notebook, which has got 2021 written on the front, and check all the trends. What have I not told you about? Okay, something that is not on trend this season, which goes against something that I've probably said in previous videos about it being always on trend and timeless, is animal print. You're not seeing much animal print this season. I have got a left print coat that I love. I've got a pair of snake print boots that I love. So I'm still gonna wear them. But unfortunately, we're just not gonna be seeing much of that in the stores this season. Bomber jackets. Now again, not really my style, but I know that we're all different and everybody likes something a little bit different. They are practical, they are cozy for dog walking. Actually, I've got that nice cream um, Reese kind of bomber jacket. That is a big outerwear trend this year. And also, can't believe I didn't demonstrate this point for you, cream and caramel are a dream color combination this autumn winter. Again, I will refer you back to Thursday's video, the Gucci coat, I feel ticks this trend absolutely perfectly. I guess we could say that this dress is a little bit of the lingerie corset um, trend if we're really trying to link it in. The sports, sports luxe, uh, casual wear that's kind of sporty. I feel like maybe the brands are saying, look guys, you've been in your tracksuits long enough. Get out there, get your body moving. Here's some nice, luxurious, stylish sportswear. Again, not a trend that I'm that bothered by. I do like Tory Sport by Tory Burch, um, but that's about as far as I get. But anyway, darlings, before I melt into a puddle on the ground, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget all of the pieces that I have been wearing throughout the video will be linked in the description box down below, as well as my Oasis discount code. I believe that my fabulous kitchen garden print dress is still in the sale. So I'll leave that link down below as well if you'd like to snap that up. Um, and darlings, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are your favorites and least favorite trends that you foresee coming up for autumn or fall 2022. And that's all for me, darlings. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.